Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna upgrade the extruder and we're gonna upgrade the bolting tube. So first we're gonna start the printer up. And I'm gonna go ahead and lower the Z axis. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the nozzle a little bit so I can pull out the uh, bolting tube and I can pull out the um, filament. While that heats up, let me go ahead and see if we can get that filament out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this filament. No matter what you do, don't let go of the filament end. And make sure you put it inside one of these keepers. Because if it twists, you'll never be able to get the filament right again. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back off now. Okay, cut it and cut your zip tie off here. Cut the other one off the back here. Set them aside, we don't need them no more. And it can stay on the rest of the way because we're not gonna do it. Pop this clip off back here. And we'll keep that. Put on the bed. We'll pop the other clip off here. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up. Be careful not to put too much pressure on your wires. You don't want to. You don't want to break the wires free there. I'm go ahead and pop this back one off. There we go. I should be able to turn this out of here now. Almost got it out now. There we go. Got it out. It's actually not tore up down there either. Go ahead and take that off there. On the Bowden tube, you just want to line it up with the other Bowden tube, the old one. Um, so make sure you have a cutter. If you don't have a cutter, you can use other things to cut it, but you just want to make sure it's perfectly square. Because if it ain't perfectly square, then it ain't right. Okay, now, move the Bowden, move the Bowden cutter out of the way here. And we'll start disassembling this. Anyway, so we're going to take these screws out and use the Allen wrenches that came with the Ender 5 Plus 2.5 millimeter and a 2 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and take these 2 millimeter bolts out off the top and we'll go ahead and take the other one out here. two and a half millimeter wrench and we'll go ahead and snap this one out here keep the spring tension while you're taking this off you can see all kinds of fine particles on there already get the countersunk one out real quick Looks like it's a two millimeter one also. Set that back there. See they're barely tightened. That comes off there. And we'll go ahead and put the new one on since we got it. There we go. There's all my parts. I'll go ahead and put that back on there the way it was. And then we're going to just snug these down. You want to keep that, keep the one on the flat side of the shaft. And the other one just goes on the side. And we're not tightening them up, just 
keep them so that you can still move it but not turn it looks like it's um the same exact size as the old one so i guess you really probably don't even have to switch it out if you don't want, want to i'm gonna put this the same way you had it so you can have the wires go in the same place i had it that way that's where i want it it's a lot closer <laughs> than the other one was not no play we can use our other bolts here. It's like there's a few different kinds. And we'll put our other one up here in the top. Our new bolt and tube adapter on here. We'll go ahead and stick that on the top. And give it a snug. And I don't know, we gotta put our uh, bearing on real quick. Looks good. We'll set that back where it belongs here. I wonder if we should go ahead and put that other screw in the bottom. Yes, we should go ahead and put that screw in the bottom. That's for the spring. And we wouldn't have put it in, we wouldn't have been able to get it in there. What you want it to look like probably should have put that back on first now that i know where it needs to be i probably should have went ahead and put it on there like that it's all good though Where's that tiny Allen wrench? You want it to be about halfway. Like half in the front, half in the back of that pulley. And you want that screw to be on the flat side of that rod. And then we'll turn it real quick and get to the other screw. And snug it up too. Almost forgot to put that screw in all the way. There we go. Where'd the spring go? Where'd the spring just go? So you want to get your spring in there? Like that. You just want to hold it snug or you can get that screw in there without cross threading it. There we go. You can tell when it goes in and it's not cross threaded. Go ahead and screw that all the way down. Snug it and then back it off just a half turn or so. Which should get it where that can spin freely. And be able to go yeah, it don't even have to be a half turn. There you go. So there you go. You snug it up until it stops. And just turn it back like a quarter turn. Just enough to where it moves freely. That's all you want. This is what you want. Free movement. Get your bolting tube that you cut. Make sure both the ends are nice and square. I'm going to go ahead and cut both of mine again just to make sure. Right, just go ahead and stick your bowling tube down in there until it seats. There we go. Bowling tube nice and snug in there. We're going to go ahead and move the hot end back in front of the camera here. So sometimes when you can't get your, uh, your bowling off, if you just uh, simply push it the other way, because it's got that groove it's got that groove that holds it you can go back but you can't go past that groove so you push it the other way a little bit take your cutters and just cut your bowling tube right there you know not that you're going to reuse it anyway then you can push this button in and you can push that thing right off the end there 
just can't get it off normally because it's doing its job it's got little teeth in there they they're made so the tube can go one way but not the other way anyway so you go ahead and screw it back on here just screw it all the way down until it stops right there where it stopped and you go back and you go ahead and bring it back a whole entire turn then you take your Bowden tube your new one so you push it down in there make sure making sure that it's slightly loose and you want to push it all the way until it stops and it should go in there quite a way and once it's in there to where it stops take your wrench and then snug it up. Now if you did that right, your boat and tube would be all the way in there. <clears throat> if you didn't do it right, you'll have a leak. And you just wanna go ahead and get it back in the bloom. Get your couple zip ties here. Get it back the way it was. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one zip tie here like they had it. I'm gonna zip, put a zip tie here at the beginning. And I'm gonna put a zip tie up here at the top. After you get that hooked up, go ahead and plug your, uh, your wires back in. And grab your filament. Remember, don't let go of that end. And you can go ahead and stick your filament right on up through your sensor. The Bowden tube installed. We got the clips installed. We got the filament put back in. Everything zip tied up. Looks good. We got the hot end swapped out for a new one. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on. Let's get a little test cube installed on here real quick. <laughs> Can't really see a good camera angle over there. Thanks for coming to the channel, guys. Hope you can subscribe. If you ain't subscribed already, drop a comment or a like down below. Anything helps. Appreciate you guys. Peace.